Hi, I'm Mayor Erin Mendenhall, and today we're calling out some of the awesome employees and team members here at Salt Lake City who did incredible work in 2020. Joining me is the director of our housing and neighborhood development team, Lonnie Egertson Goff. It's good to see you, Lonnie. Thank you, Mayor. It's so good to see you. Before 2020, Lonnie worked tirelessly to coordinate Salt Lake City efforts around homelessness, but the pandemic brought a completely new and unique set of elements to the table of her work. And she works with a pretty lean, but incredibly hardworking team. And Lonnie stepped up to lead the efforts to make sure that Salt Lake City utilized millions of dollars in grants and funding to help those who are experiencing homelessness with access to services and much needed resource dollars once people connect there, plus an incredible amount of rental and mortgage assistance for Salt Lake City residents. So Lonnie, I just wanted to take this chance to thank you. It's my pleasure. Can you tell us a little bit about how you kept going in 2020 and um, how you were able to accomplish these awesome things? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is the amazing team that I have. I have a very deep and compelling group of uh, a bench, I would like to say, of my staff that helps with um, day in and day out, helping our most vulnerable um, members of our community. Um, so we were lucky enough uh, to have the funds come through from the federal government specific for um, COVID relief and response. So having that um, come to us has been, you know, obviously a lot of work, but this this kind of a buoying up of, of the things that we do and mm -hmm. has allowed us to really focus on um, some really critical rent assistance, like you mentioned, helping folks that are in uh, homelessness right now and those that are moving out of homelessness and our service providers, all the folks that we work with, community partners, um, that team has been the way that I've kind of day to day said, oh, we can do this. The work you do is so fundamental. It's housing, it's security, um, it's having a warm place to be in these winter months, it's having shelter. And uh, there's always a tremendous need, especially in our capital city for all of that. Um, but the ability to have that deep bench of a team that I know you have, and I agree with you in the description, be able to take federal dollars, which are super complicated <laughs> and full of rules as they should be. Um, but we had, we needed from the community need to turn those around quickly, but do it in a very professional, above the board, transparent way. And I think your team with your direction went above and beyond and created a really beautiful process that now we're using again as more dollars um, hopefully continue to come through but you're you've just helped thousands of our residents to maintain their housing or access housing and we can't thank you enough yeah it's been um really great for me every day to be able to say i have a wonderful home i'm warm i'm safe and to be able to want to have that for our community everybody so Maybe that leads a little bit into my last question, which is what are your hopes for our city in this coming year? Well, so we talk about that in, in my team. Um, you know, every week we talk about the things that are going on that we see um, helping individuals that are um, homeowners that are not able to pay their rent, helping with, like you said, rental or mortgage assistance. We're talking with um, our small business owners that receive grants from the city through our department. And a lot of hope I think is that just, we can get through this next, however long it is till the vaccine and the quote normal um, through the pandemic and then be able to say, okay, the things that we've learned during this pandemic, the, the ways that we've built efficiencies, built um, bridges with, with the different things we do, how can we, take that and move in yeah. um, to new spaces, so. Yeah, that new normal or <laughs> however we wanna phrase it, but the going back, we're not going back. <laughs> I mean, no. we're gonna, we'll see you again in City Hall, but- That's we've gonna evolved. be really awesome. 
it will be so good to see people again. I'm a hugger and I think I, I don't even know how long it's going to be before I can give you a hug, Lonnie, but I want to do that and thank you. And thanks for helping our organization be so impactful for good in people's lives and for helping us evolve to be more equitable and inclusive and accessible and supportive of the community in the ways that they need it. You're awesome. Thanks, Lonnie. Thank you.